Hi grade four and grade five. Here's your ELA for today. It's going to be short because both grades had longer math videos today and had more to practice. So I'm only allowed to give you so much work in a day. I don't want to overload you. So there is a video here where we're going to go through and we are going to edit. If you need more, there is some discussion questions at the bottom. Our topic is acceptance. You are welcome to talk with someone at home after you're done editing and think about something that makes you different from them. Do you like a different food? Do you have a different hobby? Do you go to bed at a different time? Maybe there are some things that are different and some things that are the same. Uh, and then I want you to ask your home person, what makes me special to you? I find that the things that often make us special are things that are different about us. So the things that maybe um, you might not see as special, people around you do see as special, right? Those gifts that you have. Maybe it's your quirky sense of humor. Maybe it's you know so many facts about um, Mars. Maybe you know so many things about Lego. Maybe you love to create things. Maybe you love doing drawings. All of those things that you like, those make you special and they also make you different than other people. And acceptance is all about accepting the things that make us different, celebrating the things that make us different, and treating others kindly, no matter what their differences are. Whatever, if you, have, you live a certain way and someone else lives another way, then that's awesome. Because if we all live the same way, it would be pretty boring. <laughs> all right? So read along with me. If you need more ELA in your life after you've done this video, you can always head over to the ELA channel in Teams and you can join us for, um, well, there'll be a po some posts you can comment on, okay? And hopefully you will be able to get some more ideas about acceptance because this is going to be the theme of our writing and our novel study for the next week. All right, so start thinking about acceptance by editing my work. Let's find some mistakes. All right, All right, grade four and grade five. For ELA today, we are gonna be editing my writing about acceptance. So I'm gonna change my camera angle so hopefully you can see it all. You have this worksheet here. Maybe you've already gone through and tried to find all my mistakes. I am gonna go through with you right now and we're gonna find mistakes. I'm also going to look at how I could change my writing to make it more interesting for the reader. So those are some of the things we talk about in school, um, but we'll just go through it right now. So, our monthly quality is acceptance. Oh, that's not how you spell acceptance. So I would underline it and I would write accept. It's an A instead of an I. Acceptance. What? Oh, I'm going to underline this and I'm going to write W-H-A-T. Does acceptance mean to you? To me, acceptance means treating others with respect and not judging them if they are different than I am. We, oh, what do you notice about this W? There's a period there. So this is a new sentence, it needs a capital. We all have our, this is the wrong kind of our. We want O-U-R, that means time. We all have our own way of moving through. Now I've noticed that a lot of you use this form of through in your writing, but it's actually T-H-R-O-U-G-H, if you're not texting. Even if you are texting, it takes an extra two seconds to write the full word. I, you should try it. Just try it <laughs> through life. My favorite part of teaching is getting to... Mm, look at that. It's more text talk. So we don't write the number two unless we are talking about the number two. We write the correct form of the word two. Getting to know all of my students. Every one of my students. Now, I have this as two separate words. That's correct because I'm not right, saying everyone, like everyone. I'm talking about everyone individually. Every individual one of my students is unique and has their own way of seeing the world. When we accept other people, comma, we give them space to be themselves. If our practicing acceptance, what could go there if our practicing acceptance if you 
are practicing acceptance, that helps others to feel. Mm, I think I have a lot of ease there. And I notice you guys do this sometimes too in your writing. So we'll just cross this out. Feel is F E E L. To feel safe being their own person. I'm glad that I'm able to be my own person. It would be boring if I had to be the same as every other human. Now you notice I have a typo here. So that needs a period and it needs space. Okay, so period and space. Just imagine how boring that would be. So it would be boring if I had to be the same as every other human. Just imagine how boring that would be. Now, I'm using boring twice, which is actually making my writing boring. What's another word for boring? Um, how hmm, boring, it would be boring. It would be, we're trying to think of a way that we can make this more interesting. It would be, mm, we could go to our thesaurus and look up other words for boring. That's one strategy. Or you could think of an, what I'm trying to say. So um, you could look for boring synonyms or you could think of what I'm s trying to say. I'm trying to say it wouldn't be good. So I could say it would be um, terrible. It would be terrible if I had to be the same as every other human. Just imagine how boring that would be. If we all aided, mm, acted, or ate, oh, if we all aided the same food, so we all ate, it's been a while since I wrote this, I actually forgot what I was trying to say. If we all ate the same food, so it's always good to keep reading on. If you find a word that doesn't make sense when you're editing work, keep reading on so that you can edit it. If we all ate the same food, spoke the same way, were interested in the exact same thing, wouldn't that be boring? Now here is where I can use a synonym for boring. So if you need a synonym, you can use a thesaurus or you can use Google to search synonym for boring. So we could use tedious, which means the same as boring. It means tiring. You could use tiring. Mm, you could use monotonous, dull, dreary. I like dull. Wouldn't that be dull? Because we all bring color to the world through our own unique personalities. So yes, it would be dull. And it says, let's move on to the next part. Now, think of something that makes you different from others. Know that you... Text talk again, U Y O U. Again, if you're texting, this using just a U is left over from when texting used to be done with numbers, so it was really hard to do every letter. Now there's no excuse because no one is text, well, very few people are texting using um, a keypad, a number keypad. If you have a keyboard, it's two extra strokes on your keyboard, two extra taps with your thumb, and it looks so much better, and it sounds so much better, and it's a good habit to be into. So know that you are accepted and loved for who you are. Isn't that a nice feeling? Now, there's something fishy about my spelling of nice. N-I-C-E, not N-Y-C-E. You can give that happy feeling to others by accepting them for who they are and treating them kindly and respectfully, and respectfully. So I use and a lot and I repeat myself. So you can give that happy feeling to others by accepting them for who they are, okay? And treating them kindly and respectfully and respectfully. So we're gonna take out the second respect and respectfully and respectfully, okay? You can give that, you can give that happy feeling to others by accepting them for who they are and then we could do a comma, take that and out, who they are, treating them kindly and respectfully. That is a good, that's a better sentence, even if they have a different life than you do, okay? Now, this is how, these are the mistakes that I made. So you can pause the video, zoom out, maybe you found a mistake I missed. Can you think of a way, um, a way to give me positive criticism on my writing? So how could it, positive constructive criticism what is something I could do better so maybe um, I could add an example here now think of something that makes you different from others sometimes it's helpful to our readers to add an example to give them 
kind of something to think about. So maybe you love a certain kind of music. A certain kind of music. Or food. Know that you are accepted and loved for who you are. Um, even, I'm trying to think of how we can make that better, certain kind of food, and you could say who you are, even if we don't like the same music and or food, comma. Even if we don't, I'm gonna change colors because this is running into each other. Sorry guys, next time I will make my version bigger so that you guys don't have to watch me do this on such a cramped space. Um, even if we don't like, the same kinds of music and food. Isn't that a nice feeling? You can give that happy feeling to others by accepting them for who they are, treating them kindly and respectfully. Even, oh, I'm looking here. I could add as well as treating them kindly and respectfully, even if they have a different life than you do. So maybe you found other ways that you could make my writing better. I'm always interested in making my writing better. So I'm going to post this on Teams. I'm going to post a picture of this answer key on Teams and you can go and join in the discussion about what else I could do to make my writing better. Maybe you can think of details that I could add to make this more interesting. Now for your second part of your ELA today, if you have time, it says talk with somebody at home and oh, another error. <laughs> think, think about something that makes you different from them. Do you like a different food? Have a different hobby? Go to bed at a different time? And then ask your home person, what makes me special to you? Okay, so looking here, I'm gonna give you an example. Something that makes me different from my, let's pick somebody in my house. Everyone in my house has different likes for food for sure. And my husband really likes a certain kind of music that I, I mean, I, I like it, but it's not my first choice. So he really likes listening to a certain country artist. And I have no problem with the country artist, but if I was going to pick something to listen, it wouldn't be that. But I accept that sometimes he wants to listen to his music and I enjoy it because I know it makes him happy. So that's accepting him. I also accept that my children do not like the same food as me. And sometimes we're gonna eat different things for supper, but that's okay because that's who they are, those are their tastes, and I accept that they're different from mine. All right, I do ask them to try. If it's vegetables, they have to try them, right? They have to eat a little bit of them. But if it's something like spicy or um, you know, a taste they don't like, I'm okay with just having more for myself. I accept that. Uh, and what makes me special to you? So think about, talk to your home person and ask what makes you special to them and you'll probably find out it might be something that is a difference between the two of you, right? So often the things we love in other people are the our differences. And when we learn to love our differences and the differences between us and other people, we're happier and we have a happier community. And now we have an optional part. Okay. So now we come to the optional part, which I kind of explained at the beginning. So what you can do if you need more ELA, now again, I have given you, some of you, this will be enough work for the day. And that's okay to just go through the editing along with your math, that's lots. If you still would like a little bit more ELA, head on over to Teams. If you have a device, you can head on over to Teams and check out the ELA channel. And I'll have some posts there. If you click reply to the post, don't start a new post, click reply to the post and then comment with your answer to my prompt, okay? If you don't have a device and you still want some more ELA, you can just get a piece of paper, do it old school, write out maybe some of the things that are different between you and your person at home. So you could even fold the paper in half and say, my sister 
and me or my mom and me or my dad and me or my dog and me, that might be a tough discussion to have. <laughs> Whoever you're talking to at home, you can record that and send it to me if you'd like. So just write it on paper, take a picture and send it to me on Teams or Class Dojo or email, okay? However is easiest for you. If you do have a device, you can skip that step and just go right to the ELA channel and check out some of the prompts that I have about acceptance today. Now acceptance is our quality of the month at Oak Bank Elementary. I know we're not at Oak Bank Elementary right now, but it's still something I had planned to teach you and I'd love to teach you. I've been excited to teach this, kind of like I taught the compassion, Miss LeVay and I did the compassion project. Um, I love learning about that. That's a really important learning piece. So, thank you for tuning in. If you're done for today and you're thinking, Mrs. Oaks, I don't need any more of school today. I just need a break. Then go for it. Go take a break. If you are not done for today and you're kind of thinking, I'm a little bored. I want something to do. Or, ooh, I love ELA and I'd love to check in with Mrs. Oaks. Um, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. You can go and check in. Whatever you're feeling today, go for it. Because you have had your total, like you, you've probably exceeded your hour of um, content. Or if you're in grade five, that math video today was a whopper. You're probably exceeded. You might have exceeded your, your focus for today. And that's okay. Okay. So I'm leaving it up to you. Whether you follow up on Teams or by sending me a picture of your writing from your brainstorming. Or even just talking to someone at home. This is up to you. It's whatever works for you today. And I think I've said that enough times that you get it, right? Anyway, have a great day. I'll see you on Teams if you choose to join us. Bye.